Hello! Welcome to this quick tutorial. I'm Julia, teacher and self-taught illustrator from Oldenburg. And currently I'm working on a new Skillshare class, which is all about texture and Procreate and which hopefully will be online sometime in October. So look out for that. Now for this Skillshare class, I created a brush set containing texture stamps. Let me just quickly show you here. Here you can see some of the stamps and I was so fascinated by creating these that I wanted to share the process. Now it's actually quite simple to create these and it's similar to my YouTube video about creating flower stamps. So what you need is a photo with a texture. So this can be self-made by photographing interesting texture in nature or when walking through the city or of course you could also paint the texture by hand with watercolors, crayons, whatever, or you could even paint the texture in Procreate, or you could use sites like Unsplash or Pexels to download texture. And this is what I will be doing now. Now, let me show you. I've got Unsplash here on my iPad and Unsplash and also Pexels is great because you can use these photos for free, even for commercial projects. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting into any kind of trouble. And what I will be doing is to look for the word texture. And then Unsplash will show me all different kinds of photos which contain interesting textures. So like this crumpled paper here or this, um, swirly wallpaper or yes this wallpaper here scratches so you can find really quite a lot of interesting photos and what you then do is to just download the photo so i will be using this wallpaper texture here and you just tap this button here and it will download the photo and what's nice about these photos is that they are quite high resolution, so you can create really big stamps with it, with them. Now it's downloaded and I can find it in my photo app. And what I will be doing before I will be using it in Procreate, I will quickly try to edit the photo a bit. So in general, what I want is to have a bit more contrast so make the whiter parts a bit whiter and the darker parts a bit darker and still retaining retain this nice texture here. So I will just be playing with these different um, modes here. I will start with exposure, bump that up a bit. Then I will go to brilliance. Yes, I will be using that too. Okay, and highlights, so let me see. I think I'll leave it at zero. Go to shadows, won't be changing anything here. Contrast, bump that up a bit. Brightness, make it a bit darker maybe. And bump up the black point. Okay, and then saturation doesn't matter. That's because this is a black and white image. So I can hit done here. And then I will go into Procreate. And I will be creating a new canvas. And what is important um, is that you use a square. So if you don't use a square, your texture can be distorted or your texture stamp can look distorted because brushes and stamps always work with squares. I will be hitting the plus sign and maybe go with this 10 by 10 inch canvas. You could also make it smaller, then your stamp will be a bit smaller, but you can also make it bigger than 10 by 10. That really doesn't matter that much, um, but it's a square and that's the most important part. So I will be hitting the wrench and then insert a photo. And I will be inserting, where is it? Uh, here, 
the wallpaper texture and I will make that a bit smaller. Now what you can do is to use the free form and it doesn't look that nice when you have something like a pattern and a wallpaper but if you were were to be using some just some kind of speckles or scratches or concrete texture then you can easily adjust it to the square like this so I think I won't be doing that too much because like I said with the pattern it might look a bit distorted there and I think I will leave it at that. And another thing I will be doing is to try to get rid of that very harsh edge here by using the eraser. And I will be using a textured brush for that. Let's see, I will be using the sticks. And then I will just, let's see, erase a bit of the edge here so I don't have that very hard hard edge when I'll be using when I will be using the stamp. Um, this step is actually totally optional optionable. Optionable? Optional? It's optional. And um, this is because you will very probably use your stamp with a clipping mask and then you can't really see that edge anyways. But I don't know, it's kind of bothering me, so I will be erasing it a bit so it looks a bit more natural there okay that's it now next step is to copy canvas go to the wrench go to add and hit copy canvas and what you then do is to either pick one of your existing brush sets or create a new one especially if you want to create more stems, you might consider con creating a new brush set. And I will be calling mine textured or texture stamps. And then within the brush set, I will be hitting the plus sign here. So I'm in the, my textured stamp brush set. I can see that because this icon is blue I will be hitting the plus sign and the first thing I will do is to set the spacing to max so instead of a stroke I've got these individual stamps here and then I will go to shape hit edit import and because I used the copy canvas before I can just hit paste and then you have to do one more thing. You have to tap that with two fingers. So your stamp has to look like, like this. And then you can hit done. And there it already is. Now, right now it's always kind of the same direction. If you want that, then you can just leave it like that. If you feel you, it's nice to have your stamp um, rotate a bit, you can just turn on the scatter and rotation and now every time you stamp your stamps look your stamp looks a little bit different now the next thing I would do is go to properties hit stamp preview make the preview size a bit smaller then I will be making the maximum size a bit bigger and last but not least I will call this wallpaper texture write down my name you can even insert a photo here I will be using let's see my logo kind of logo here where is it can't find it here it is you could sign your stamp I think it looks weird so I never do that or virtually never and I feel there's something missing. Let's go back here about this brush. No, nothing is missing. Now, the last thing you have to do, and please don't forget that because otherwise it won't be safe, is to hit done. And now you've got your texture stamp. Now I can see this is actually still quite large, the preview here, so I will get back into that and make the preview size even smaller. 
and then it looks a bit better here. Now just let's just quickly test that one. I will go to that circle here and like I said stamps are most of the time I use them with clipping masks so I will create a new layer by hitting the plus sign, tap on the layer, tap clipping mask and then I will be using Let's just use this brown here and let make sure I'm at my stamp and there it already is. Tap that once and you can see it has an immediate effect here. You can play with the blending modes, of course, maybe go to darken. If you want to enhance the effect, you could duplicate the layer or the other way around. If you want to make it a bit more subtle, you could lower the opacity. Yes, and there it is. So I hope you liked the video and I hope I'll see you again. Bye.